here is Boots Graphic Major Set. And today is letter V, and it should be about uh, Viking heritage. As you can see behind me is a replicate of an old Viking longhouse. I'll give you a tour and I'll tell you a little bit about uh, the Viking heritage that I have since I'm from Denmark. So hang on. Uh, first of all, I would like to uh, apologize uh, for the wind noise. It's very windy here today, uh, but I hope you can hear what I'm telling you. Uh, this is, as I said before, a replicate of an uh, Viking longhouse and uh, I'll get back to that in a moment. But first, I would like to show you exactly where I am and uh, why I'm here. This is um, an old ring for fortress that was built here by an old Danish king called Harold Bluetooth. This is the remains of one of the five uh, ring fortress that Harold Bluetooth built. Uh, this one is from 980. And as you can see, the white stone indicates where the houses were. And behind that over there is that long house that they have uh, made a replicate of how they looked at that time. Um, this one is called Fyrkat and is located near a big town called Hobro, uh, just uh, 60 kilometers south of where I live. Um, this is some of the heritage I have as a Dane and as a Viking. The old Viking king, Hal Bluetooth, was a very uh, wise king and he uh, created Denmark as we know it today. And as you can see, uh, the grass knolls that is indicating where the fortress once was. And of course, it has been looking quite different than it does now. This is how it looked back in the Viking Age. You see this ring fortress. Fyrkat's rampart, more than three meter high, surrounded 16 houses divided into four housing blocks. The rampart has four gateways located precisely at the four compass points. And the sheep are taking care of this area, uh, or the goats I think it is, by cutting the grass. You can see the surroundings where this old fortress was. And uh, one of the entrance gates. There was four entrance gates uh, in these uh, ring fortress. of the Viking fortress in Onsel and River Valley is not coincidental. In the Viking Age, it was possible to sail from Kattegat into Maya Fjord and right up to Fjordkat. The water was not particularly deep, but deep enough for the shallow draft Viking ships. Fjordkat also stood at a crossing point where travels on the north-south Hervey, the old army road, through Jutland had to pass. To the north, south and east, the fortress was flanked by wet, difficult terrain that made it hard to attack fortress from these sides. The easiest access was through the west gate. The Viking who chose this plateau for their fortress struggled with high water table especially to the south. They had to level and drain the area before the building work could begin. In 
the 10th century, serious border problems had arisen at Denmark's southern border. The conflict was between Western Europe's mightiest ruler, the Christian German Emperor, and Harald Bluetooth. Under pressure, King Harald Bluetooth made Christianity the state religion of Denmark. Denmark went from being a Nordic pagan society to a European Christian civilization. Large landed and royal estates arose across the whole of Denmark. The first towns were established. The foundation for the historic Kingdom of Denmark had been laid. Vikings originated in what we now call Denmark, Norway and Sweden. There are different opinions about where the term Viking originates from. Some say it comes from the old Icelandic Viking, a creek dweller, other that it's from the Nordic word Vik, that means a small bay. Contemporary writers don't use the term Viking to speak of a group of people. Instead, they refer to Norsemen or Dani, the Danes. The Viking didn't have horn on their helms. This is something that playwriters and filmmakers had created. However, founds from the Bronze Age in Denmark indicates that they have a horn on their helms. There hasn't been found any proof that Vikings were tattooed. However, people from other parts of the world at that time have tattoos, so maybe the Viking had it too. Most of the Vikings were not warriors who took on raids abroad. They were farmers and stayed home to cultivate the land. The Vikings had a high level of hygiene. They took a bath at least once a week, and archaeological findings like tweezers, combs, and razors indicate that they did a lot for their appearance. Although it's many, many years since old uh, King Harold Bluetooth made the Danes Christian, we still have a heritage uh, from the old uh, Nordic religion, the Asa belief. And our weekdays, uh, most of our weekdays, are named by old Nordic gods. Uh, Tuesday we call Tirsdag, and it's Thursday. And Wednesday we call Ulster means Odin's Day. And Thursday we call Torsta means Thor's Day. And uh, Friday we call Freda, which means Frick's Day. And all these are old Nordic gods that uh, somehow still connect us to the old Viking Age. But what about my uh, Viking heritage uh, regarding to my bushcraft? Well, uh, most of the knives that we made in Scandinavian originates from the old uh, uh, Viking knife, the sax. And when I try to make a fire, I use flint and steel and amadou. I don't use char cloth. I didn't do that in the Viking age. So in that way, I try to uh, live up to my Viking heritage and do it the way that did uh, once. Well, this is all for now, folks. I hope you enjoyed my little video about my Viking heritage uh, and I hope you enjoy my serious bushcraft for Major Sit. Um, thank you for watching Kimmy Bushcraft. As some of you maybe have noticed, I'm soon reaching the 10,000 subscribers. It's great, I can't believe it. And of course there will be a giveaway and I'll announce it uh, in a later video. Uh, I hope uh, to see you again on the next video and I hope you're having a nice week.
拜拜 ，take care。